This is High Stakes. Our contestants have come back to endure the pressure inside the challenge zone once again, with a spot in our final up for grabs. Returning this week, we have Richard Taunton from Southampton. Could you introduce yourselves, please? Hi, I'm Will. I'm team captain. Hi, I'm Harry. Hello, Hi, Harry. I'm Adam. Hello, Hi, Adam. I'm Alex. Hello once again, Alex. Splendid. And I hear two of you are entering a sailing competition. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's Alex and I. We okay, sail and skiff together. Tell me a bit about it. Where, where are you doing that? Uh, it's the World Championships in France. Okay, <laughs> so you know, not a little thing then. Wow. And, yeah. uh, and when does that kick off? Uh, the start of August. Okay, fantastic. And you're all prepped and, uh, and feeling confident, yes? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Good answer. Okay, fantastic. And facing them, we have Queen Mary's College from Basingstoke. Who's on your team today? Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm the Kim team captain. Hello, Alex. Hi, I'm Robert. Hello I'm again, Robert. I'm Maria. A new face, Maria. Hello. Hi. Hello, I'm Connor. And hello, Connor. And uh, how come you've got two new members today? The two other are ill, so we have oh to dear. replace them quick. Okay, so yeah. you've got people to sub in. Very well done. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Brilliant. Before we start, you'll need some points to wager with. So let's begin with round one's quick fire. <laughs> to earn these points, the teams will have 20 seconds to answer as many quick fire questions as they can. Each correct answer will win your team five points. Richard Taunton, you'll be starting first. You have 20 seconds to name me as many elements in the periodic table as you can, and your time begins now. Hydrogen, helium, beryllium, lithium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, neon, argon, radon, fluorine, fluorine, chlorine, acetine, francium, iodine, uranium, silicon, iridium, boron. And time's up. You just have the whole thing memorised, do you? <laughs> yeah. That okay. worked out well for you. Excellent. Very well done, Richard Thorne. Very well done, Will. Superb okay. effort. Brilliant. So, moving on to Queen Mary's College. You have 20 <laughs> seconds to name as many English counties as you can. Your time starts now. London. Surrey. Hampshire. Chichester. Mm -hmm. Chichester. Chichester. Yeah. Berkshire. Um, uh, we said Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. And I'm afraid your time's up. Very well done, you guys. <laughs> That's okay. actually harder than you think it is. Ah, complete mental blank, but brilliant. Very well done and very well uh, uh, offered up there. So, well done, teams. At the end of the quick fire round, Richard Taunton, you have 50 points. Very well done. And Queen Mary's. I'm afraid you only managed 25 points there, but terrifically well done. Now you have some points to stake. It's time for our first head-to-head. -head. At the start of each round, I will tell the teams the upcoming category, allowing them to select their best player for the round. Remember that your team captains cannot be selected for their head-to-heads. As the selected players head to the challenge zone, I will reveal the subcategory, allowing the rest of your teams to judge their players' chances and stake appropriately. The two selected contestants will then have 60 seconds inside the challenge zone with the winners doubling their stake, while the losing team will leave empty-handed. OK, teams, without further ado, let's play High Stakes. The subject for round two is food and drink. Teams, you both have 10 seconds to decide who has the best knowledge on food and drink to play this, this round. Your time starts now. OK, time's up, team. So, Richard Taunton, who have you chosen to step up? We've chosen Alex. You've chosen Alex. OK, fantastic. Alex. And uh, Queen Mary? Connor. Connor's going to play this round. Fantastic. Can I ask you both, please, to leave the studio? OK, well, let's see how much knowledge your people have about food and drink. So, teams, to help you, I can reveal that the questions in this round are about world foods. In this first round, you can stake up to 20 of your points. Remember... The uh, more points wagered, the bigger the reward. You have 15 seconds to decide your stake and your time starts now. Okay, time's up. We'll reveal how many points both teams staked at the end of the round. 
Richard Taunton, you'll be going first this round. So let's bring back Alex. <laughs> so, Alex, you have 60 seconds on world foods, okay. and your time starts now. What traditionally forms the covering of a haggis? Uh, pig bladder. It's a sheep's stomach. Good try. In an Indian restaurant, if you were served a loo, which vegetable would you be eating? Pass. Potato. What fruit grows on a palm tree? Pass. Coconuts or dates? Which continent does couscous originate from? India. It's Africa. What is the name of the Italian dish of large tubes of pasta filled with savoury meat mixture? Uh, ravioli. It's cannelloni. Name one of the three most expensive spices in the world. Pass. Saffron, vanilla beans or cardamom? What is the most eaten fruit in the world? Apple. It's a banana. What is the main ingredient of guacamole? Pass. It's avocados. From which animal does venison come? Pheasant. It's a deer. What sort of beans are a main ingredient of chili con carne? Soya beans. It's kidney beans, I'm afraid. Which national cuisine uses lemongrass, fish paste and lime leaves? India. I'm afraid you're out of time. OK, I'm sorry, Alex. Very well done. Please make your way back to your team. OK, so it's time to bring back Connor. Once again, Connor, you have 60 seconds on world foods and your time starts now. What are dried plums called? Pass. Prunes. Antipasto is the equivalent of which English course? Pass. Starter. What colour is a pistachio often used in ice cream and confectionery? Green. It is green. What is ciabatta? Pass. Italian bread. Which green jelly is a traditional accompaniment to lamb? Pass. Mint jelly. What do Italians call their strong dark coffee served in small cups? Espresso. It is. Name one of the five main ingredients of tzatziki. Pass. It's yogurt, cucumber, mint, garlic and lemon. What name is given to the small snacks traditionally served with drinks in Spain? Pass. Tapas. What is the meat wrapped in to make a beef wellington? Bacon. It's pastry. On which day were hot cross buns traditionally eaten? Christmas. It's Good Friday. What colour is Advocar liqueur? Red. It's yellow. What is the blue in blue cheese? I'm afraid time's up. I can tell you the answer's mould. Very well done, Connor. Please make your way back to your team. The results from the challenge zone are in. And Alex, I can reveal, I'm afraid you didn't score any that round. OK, bad luck. While Connor, you scored a massive two. Very, very well done. Good job. Uh, that makes Queen Mary's the winning team this round. But let's see how much confidence you had in your players and reveal how much you staked. Richard Taunton, you staked five points. And Queen Mary's, you also staked five points. So Queen Mary's, you've doubled your stake. Unfortunately, Richard Taunton, you lose yours. So, at the end of that round, Richard Taunton, you have 45 points, and Queen Mary's, you have 30 points. Let's go straight on into round three. Let's have a look at the subject for round three. It's music. You have 10 seconds to decide who's going to play this round, and your time starts now. Time's up, teams. Richard Taunton, who's playing this round for you? Harry. Harry, OK, fantastic. And Queen Mary's? Robert. Who have you chosen? Robert, fantastic. OK, can I ask you please both to leave the studio for a moment? All right, brilliant. So, hopefully you've chosen your two music buffs. I can reveal the subcategory in this round is Popular Artists of 2013. This time you can wager up to 30 of your points. We'll give you time to lock in your stakes in a moment. Remember, the higher the stakes, the greater the reward. Your 15 seconds starts now. OK, once again, time's up. We'll reveal your stakes at the end of the round. Richard Taunton, you're going first. So can we welcome back, please, Harry? <laughs> Harry, you have 60 seconds on popular artists of 2013. 
Your time starts now. Which French duo released the 2013 hit Get Lucky? Pass. Daft Punk. Which song saw Avicii combine the worlds of dance music and country music to Pass. top the charts in 15 countries? It was Wake Me Up. Which boy band released a movie documentary titled This Is Us? One Direction. It was indeed. Miley Cyrus released which song that includes the lyric, It's our party, we can do what we want to. Well, I reckon good. It was We Can't Stop. Which pop star covered Keen for the Christmas John Lewis advert? Uh, pass. That was Lily Allen. In 2013, which American pop rock band were counting stars? Uh, pass. One Republic. Kanye West released what 2013 album that includes tracks such as Bound 2 and Black pass. Skinhead? Jesus. Which girl band made a quick reunion during Super Bowl 47? Pass. Destiny's Child. During Miley Cyrus' video for Wrecking Ball, what workman's tool did she proceed Hammer. to lick? Hammer. It was a sledgehammer. Harlem Shake took the internet by storm, but in which city would you find the neighborhood of Harlem? Uh, I'm afraid time is up. The answer is New York. Very well done, Harry. Please rejoin your team. OK, it's time to bring back, please, Robert. Well Robert. So, 60 seconds. Popular artists of 2013, your time starts now. Who was at number one on the first day of 2013? Um, Adele. It's James Arthur. Which New Zealand songstress had a hit with Royals? Uh, pass. Lord. During the MTV VMAs, Robin Thicke was accompanied on stage by which pop star holding a foam finger? Miley Cyrus. It was indeed. Which song won Katy Perry her only UK number one for 2013? Um, you're going to hear me roar. It was raw. Raw. Which singer returned to music with the album 2020? Um, pass. Justin Timberlake. In August, which artist released the song Talk Dirty? Uh, pass. Jason Derulo. Which artist released the album Magnum Carter Holy Grail in July of 2013? Um, Kanye West. It was Jay-Z. Yeah. Which girl group had hits with Love Machine and Jump and split up after 10 years together? Girls Aloud. It was indeed. Dappy from N-Dubs had an altercation with which animal in late 2013? Uh, pass. It was a horse. March saw a wave of nostalgia as Anton Deck had a number one with what song? <laughs> I'm afraid time's up. Very well done, Robert. Please make your way back to your seat. The results from the challenge zone are in. And Harry, we can now say that you scored two. Very well done. And Robert, you also scored two. Very well done. In the event of a draw like this, both teams keep their stakes. But all the same, let's see how much confidence you had in your players and reveal how much you staked. Richard Taunton, you staked 10 points. And Queen Mary's, you staked five points. Very well done. So at the end of that round, Richard Taunton, you now have 45 points, and Queen Mary's, you have 30 points still. Very, very well done. Let's go straight on into round four. The subject for the round is world news. As this is the final head-to-head, -head, only one player from each team is left to enter the challenge zone. So can both remaining contestants please leave the studio now? So, teams, world news. How good's your current affairs? Let's find out. This round consists of questions with the subcategory, the year 2012. For this, you'll be able to stake up to 40 of your points. Remember, high stakes equals high reward. Your time starts now. OK, teams, we'll find out your stakes later. But first, let's bring back Adam. OK, Adam, you have 60 seconds on world news in 2012. Your time starts now. The Queen celebrated which jubilee in May 2012? 60. It's a diamond. In 2012, who won the UK X Factor? Pass. James Arthur. Which state in America saw the shooting of 26 children and staff in a school? Washington. It was Connecticut. Which British athlete achieved gold in the men's 10,000 metres at the Olympics? No, Farrah. It was indeed. Ang Lee directed which film? Sorry, I'm going to do that again. Which Ang Lee directed film won four Oscars at the 2012 Academy Awards? 
pass. It's the life of pi. Google unveiled which computerized glasses, which they call what? Pass. Google Glass. Rapper Snoop Dogg decided that he now wished to be called what in 2012? Snoop Whale. Snoop Lion. Who was Barack Obama's opponent for the US presidential election? Uh, Mick Romney. It was indeed. Which famous singer died in February 2012 in a Los Angeles hotel? Michael Jackson. It was Whitney Houston. Invisible Children Action Group released what viral documentary? I'm afraid you're out of time. Very well done, Adam. Please rejoin your group. And let's welcome back, please, Maria. So, 60 seconds on 2012. Your time starts now. Carly Rae Jepsen was the UK number one for four weeks with what song? Call Me Maybe. It was indeed. Daniel Day-Lewis won an Oscar playing an American president in which big film in 2012? Fair pass. It was Lincoln. Apple released the third generation of which gadget in March 2012? iPad. It was indeed. Tom Daly achieved what medal in the men's 10 metres platform at the London Bronze. Olympics? Bronze. Absolutely. NASA's Curiosity rover started sending pictures back from which planet? Mars. It was indeed. Felix Baumgartner skydived from the edge of space faster than the speed of what? Light. Sound. Oh, sound. Yeah. Which What's AMC that? television show featuring Andrew Lincoln was voted one of the best TV series of 2012? Pass. It was The Walking Dead. Which deadly hurricane hit America in October 2012? Oh, pass. Sandy. The Costa Concordia cruise ship set off from which country before crashing into rocks? Pass. Italy. Box office hit Zero Dark Thirty depicted the search for which terrorist? <laughs> I'm afraid your time is up. I can tell you the answer was Osama Bin Laden. Very well done, Maria. Please rejoin your team. Yeah. So the results from the challenge zone are in. And Adam, I can reveal you scored two. Very well done. And Maria, you scored four. Very, very well done. Well, nice. Making Queen Mary's the winning team. But let's see how much confidence you had in your players and reveal how much you staked. Richard Taunton, you staked five points. And Queen Mary's, you also staked five Sorry, points. Sure so Queen Mary's, you have doubled your stake. And I'm afraid, Richard Taunton, you lose yours. The points at the end of round four stand at 40 points for Richard Taunton and 35 points for Queen Mary's. With that result, let's enter the last round and see which team will be going through to the high stakes final. So the final round where things really hot up is a test of all your knowledge combined. We take all the points you've won and convert them into seconds in which you will answer as many general knowledge questions as you can. So. Richard Taunton with 40 points in the lead there. That means you have 40 seconds in the challenge zone. And Queen Mary's with 35 points. That gives you 35 seconds on the clock. OK, so now our team captains have a crucial and possibly ruthless decision to make. You're allowed to sell members of your team for vital extra seconds in the challenge zone. This means you'll have more time but less brain power. Each player will be given a value based on their performance so far. For example, if you sell a player worth 15 points, you get an extra 15 seconds. So let's reveal what each player is worth. Richard Taunton, I can tell you, Alex is worth 10 points. Adam, you're worth 15 points. And Harry, you're worth 20 points. Very well done. So, Queen Mary's, I can reveal that Robert, you're worth 15 points. Maria, you're worth 20 points. And Connor, you are worth 15 points. So teams, what's it going to be? You've 15 seconds to decide if you'll sell any of your team for extra time, and your 15 seconds begins now. Time's up. So, Richard Taunton, are you selling anyone? Yeah, I'm sorry, but we're going to sacrifice Alex and Adam. <laughs> You're going to sack <laughs> Alex and Adam. That's a little harsh, but OK. And Queen Mary's, are you keeping everyone or are you letting anybody go? We're keeping. Going to keep everyone. You're going to keep everybody. OK, very good. So here we are. Well done to the team members who made it this far. The team with the highest score will go first, which is Richard Taunton. Let's welcome them back, please. <laughs> So, gentlemen, having ruthlessly sold Adam and Alex, you now have 65 seconds in the challenge zone. 
general knowledge questions, and your time starts now. White gold jewellery is usually plated with what? Pass. Rhodium. How many legs do butterflies have? Six. It is indeed. Which country has the highest population in the world? China. Yes. Which website would you visit to watch videos made by KSI, Gizzy, Gaza, and Jenna YouTube. Mark? YouTube. Indeed. Dwayne Johnson is also known as which wrestler? The Rock. Yes. Which is the sport where you would be leg before wicket or hit a six? Cricket. Indeed. Who was the writer of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Lewis Carroll. Yes. From which country does reggae music originate? Jamaica. Yes. What was the first James Bond film? Pass. Doctor No. Broccoli belongs to what family of plants? Vegetable. Cabbage. <laughs> Which film star has his statue in Leicester Square? Pass. Charlie Chaplin. In which country would you find what's left of the death camp Auschwitz? Ireland. Indeed. What is the only continent snakes are not naturally found on? Uh, Antarctica. Yes, indeed. Very, very well done, gentlemen. Please make your way back to your teammates. Okay, so let's please welcome back Queen Mary's. Okay, Queen Mary's, you chose to keep your team together. You have 35 seconds to answer as many general knowledge questions as you can, and your time starts now. In the Winnie the Pooh stories, what is Kanga's baby called? Uh, Ruth? Yes. In what country do the most deaths by scorpion stings occur? Australia. It's Mexico. Damn. Name one of the countries which hosted the 2002 Football World Cup Finals. Pass. It's Japan or South Korea. What bird is the symbol of the children's section of Penguin's book, P Penguin Books Limited? Is it Penguin? It's Puffin. Puffin. Which country has the largest area of land? Russia. Yes. Which indoor sport is the most popular in the US? Um, sure. it's basketball. Mm. Hard luck. Very well done, St Mary's. Please make your way back to your seats. <laughs> OK, so you've been tested on your knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. Now it's time to reveal who will be going through to the final. Queen Mary's, I can reveal you scored two. And Richard Taunton, you scored a whopping nine. Very, very well done, making Richard Taunton today's winners. Very, very well done, gentlemen. Commiserations. You've scored your place in the final now, and you're within touching distance of becoming high stakes champions. So congratulations to Richard Taunton, and commiserations to Queen Mary's. Hard luck. Thank you to both colleges for participating, and to our brilliant studio audience. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for the second semi-final. This has been High Stakes.